I'm Madhul Kumar and here is question number three on functions domain and range. The question is Peter is paid dollar twelve per hour plus five percent of his sales over thousand dollars for a forty hour work week. Part A is graph a relation between Peter's total pay for a forty hour work week and his sales for the week. Calculate his earnings for sale of 3200 during a 40 hour week. See, you have to find domain range, which is kind of default for my questions in this playlist. Okay, you can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's uh, kind of understand this. It says Peter is paid dollar 12 per hour plus five percent of his sales over thousand so if the sales is up to thousand including thousand in that case he doesn't get five percent he only gets twelve dollars per hour is it okay for a 40 hour work week so in this question time 40 hours is fixed right so we are saying time is 40 hours correct so the earnings could be uh, written in two different ways. We can say earnings E uh, as a function of, uh, I should say sales, right? As a function of sales is equal to 12 times for $12 per hour, where number of hours is 40. So let me write this as 12 times 40, right? If the sales is Sales is from zero to thousand. Is it okay? Now anything over thousand, we get commission of five percent for Peter. That is that okay? So what is twelve times forty? Right. Let's do this. Twelve times forty equals to four eighty. Right. So this is this is what we get. Four eighty. Right. This is four eighty. So you get four eighty dollars plus. 5% which is 0 0.05 on sales which is more than 1000. Do you understand? So this is when sales is greater than 1000. Do you get an idea? So that becomes the function which defines the earnings of Peter. Now you have to graph this function. Let me graph this function here. Okay, so let's say this is uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and so on, correct? So the, so the idea here is that for, for the first 1,000, the earning is constant. It's 480, right? It's kind of straight horizontal line, and then it rises kind of like this. Do you see that? So, so we can write down this value as 480 which is 12 times 40. So if you do 12 times 40, which is equals to 480. That is how I've got 480, correct? Okay, this is 4,000. So each unit is 1,000 here. This is around, let's say this is 500. Now, if the sales is 2,000, so we get, if the sales is 2,000, in that case, let me calculate the value. It will be 480 plus 0 0.05 within brackets 2000 take away 1000 okay bracket close equal to 530 right so this is kind of this point is 530 do you see that so so that is the rise and it has to be continuous if it is 1000 it is 0 right I mean 480 plus 0 so it's just the same thing so that is 2000 and so on. So that becomes the continuous graph for the earnings of Peter. Right? So graph a relation between Peter's total pay for 40 hours work week and his sales. Right. So here we have sales. Sales of course in dollars and earnings also in dollars. Is it okay? So that is how you could draw. Now the question is calculate his earnings for a sale of 3200 
during a 40 hour week. So let's calculate this earnings for 3200. So we have E 3200, right? So 3200 is more than 1000. So we'll have this equation. So we'll have 480 plus 0 0.05 times 3200 minus 1000 which is equals to so we can calculate this right so we have 480 plus 0 0.05 within brackets 3200 minus 1000 bracket close I mean equal to 590 so for a sale of 3200 the earnings will be $590, right? So we can write down our answer here as the earnings for 3200 is $590. Is it okay? So that is how we are going to do such questions, right? 0 0.05, how did we get that? 5%. Let's do it. Show me here. Okay, 5% is 5 over 100, which is 0 0.05. Is it okay? So that is how we are getting this 0 0.05. Now the question for you is to write domain and range for this function, right? So write domain and range for the function. Now domain you can say is sales. So we can say sales is from uh, 0 to now this is a very difficult figure to get right so so you could say instead of using this we can say sales uh, belongs to real numbers where sales is greater than equal to zero so uh, that's the domain right so there may be sale there may not be any sale as far as the range is concerned range is about the earnings right so the earnings belongs to real numbers and the earnings are more than $480. So we get earnings as greater than equal to $480. Is that okay? So that could be the range. Perfect. At times, you may be given conditions for maximum limits also, which is not given here. So we'll just write like this. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best. Feel free to post my to post questions, share my videos with your friends, and if you like, you can put some like marks. Thank you, and all the best.